is where my curiosity brought me. Just led me straight into the heart of Il Pole town. Somewhere around on your way to Dolol, I suppose. This is why I came here. I just came here for maybe I don't know, just to see how people live here. And I think it's exciting. You know, it's nice sometimes to get out of your comfort zone and visit other areas so you can see how people live. Now, I'm just somewhere standing in between shrubs shrubs and a little bit of settlement area we have people living around here this is a small town and a very developed one because you can see there's already electricity installed if they're not just poles but at least there is electricity and we can see i think it's an office there for some sort of minister i don't know i'm somewhere alone in here and i've been told that we have wild animals lurking everywhere around here so i'm just uh, I've just been here and I'm hoping none will just jump out of the thickets. Actually, it's not so much of a forest. I don't know because it's, it doesn't have so many trees or so many shrubs. This part of uh, Kenya, I think, is a semi-desert. But people live here. People live here. I just talked to one child who was grazing cows and I asked him why he takes those cows to drink water. And he pointed at very far distance. So, as you people live in the comfort of the city where you have everything just at your fingertips, you need to at least one day get out of your comfort zone and see how people live here. Now, I don't know about the community. I've not interacted with so many of them. Sometimes, you know, they can get hostile. And some of them are actually very friendly. So, I don't know if we can just judge them by people saying they are nomads and sometimes they, there are a lot of wars going on in here. But I so far so good, nobody has come towards me with a panga or a machete. I'm just here living my life. I'm just here just walking by. I wanted to breathe just fresh air. And I feel like so far so good, it's exciting here. Now, I don't know where these kids school. It must be a very far off place. I think everything here is far off from everyone. The population is very, very scarce. So you can see, apart from this town center, you see one house here, another house miles away. So people just, I think, live the same way. And I don't know why, because I believe this is an area or it's a community that has communal ownership of blood. At least that's what I heard. So I don't know why people don't live together anymore. Or maybe people keep moving around. So this area of the country, I think it's exciting to be here and I, I'm having fun apart from the fear of walking too far and wandering too far. So you can see all the hills and uh, all this free land behind me. There's nothing here, not a single house. And um, it's fun. I just wanted to have some fun. I wanted to get out of uh, my place where I live. It's been a long time since I left. And it's quite an exciting experience. I think I'm loving it. Hey, ciao. So I've decided to just walk a little bit further from where I last recorded. You can see the settlement area where we have so many people living here. Down there, where I just left. So I'm walking towards this hill. I just want to look at it closely. Um, I want to see how it is over there. I don't know if it's too dangerous, but I'll walk anyway. I just passed by some policemen in a police vehicle, truck, I don't know, <laughs> and they told me it's not that dangerous. So I decided to take a little bit more steps and see for myself what this brings me. See, it's an adventure and I'm on my own. I'm alone. I'm always alone anyway, so I don't know why this is news. Now. You can hear some vehicles, some lorries. I think people come here to have a sense. So this is actually a very busy road. I can see trucks going by. We have uh, public vehicles. People are going somewhere in this thicket, in these bushes. Maybe they're going to their houses or something. But we can see even Mira vehicles. Those people who sell cart Mira. So it's a busy road. So that's why it gives us a little bit of comfort. And I don't think I'll go any further now. I've actually seen the hill I wanted to see. And this truck coming over here is about to just do me dirty with the dust. So I might just take a moment and step aside for it to pass. But before it gets here, how are you people? I hope you've been doing very well. I'm actually very happy. It's getting darker, I think. And I don't know if you people can see the road that I'm walking towards. You know, this is what 
distracted me from a distance now i'll still walk as near as i can get because i still feel this is a safe place people are walking around they are just passing by you can see someone walking by no somewhere yes and uh, I don't want people to be looking at me and thinking what kind of an idiot is this recording things that I'm actually just wanted to even record their house structures, how their houses are built of gravel, I think, and some just some stones. I don't know where they collect them, I think I don't know. But the housing is funny. They're not building houses from timber, they're doing it from gravel. And they're just very hospitable structures. It's interesting to see that people, depending on their geographical locations, are able to just come up with different structures for houses. And it's very exciting. Now I am going near the rock from where I'm standing and bearing in mind that I'm very short. You can imagine how big that rock is. And actually also the fact that I've zoomed in. Let me just zoom out for you. So that you can see it from a distance you can see how big of a rock that is without me having to zoom in yes now the sun is back so it should be clearer now yes i'm still a little bit far from it i just zoomed in for you to see better right now i'm walking towards it yeah and i'm excited to record this it's exciting to be in somewhere new you know somewhere you can just stand somewhere and just scream and nobody will ask you. Actually, there's actually lower to hear you here because everyone is busy. They are making their beaded items. I just passed some, uh, by some ladies who are making their beaded items, some necklaces, some bangles and all. And I'm here now. It's been a tour for me. And I said I'm alone, as I said, I'm just alone. Alone here. Yes, this is the biggest rock I've seen. Let me get nearer because I can see at least there is there isn't so much of bushes here. It's just a clear road. You can see the path I'm walking on. And people actually ride on these roads. How does it happen? Does someone just carry a, a ladder around and then you start climbing on rocks? Because I would be very terrified to go up there. Probably because there might be some snakes there, you see. Someone is passing by with a motorcycle. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not really sure what's wrong with this person. But at least there's no one following me now. So it's just me here. Okay, so the writings on the rocks. Most probably from uh, political aspirants. Because I can see that someone has written their name and they wanted to buy for MCA 2022. Uh-huh. You know, I just collected some rocks. Also, let me show you. I also collected some rocks. And someone was asking me where I'm taking rocks. Or if I'm planning to beat someone with them now. They just look pretty to me. I think when I wash them, they will look rather very pretty. So now I'm here. I don't have somewhere else to go. I will not be walking any further than the sun. He's not smiling at me this time around. I remember teaching my students and saying, you know, go outside and say, the sun is smiling down on you. This is an easy one. Although I get to get a little bit of shade. But the sun can be brutal here. Yeah, so you can see the surroundings here. A lot of shrubs, a lot of shrubs. And there is a place that's fenced. I think it must belong to someone. For some reason, because it's fenced. So you can see the population here from you can see how far apart houses are i would like to just go near one house and record how they are structured but i wouldn't want to walk into a random person's house some of them are made of timber just 